It all started in Slovenia, actually in Maribor, the town where I grew up. Not much to do here. Most of the time, we are just hanging around the train tracks, rolling joints, and filming some stuff that comes across us. I remember the day I met Amos. Should uh, run over me, you know? I want you to film this. No, you can't. You have to go from here because it's really dangerous. He was a funny guy, a bit naive though, trying to film the train going over him. Like a lightning man. Look, I have the same. <laughs> it's crazy. I enjoyed the day with Veli and his friends, and that night we watched a movie together called Star Wars. What we saw in this movie just blew us away. Young people writing their names among other things everywhere. Most of all, they ride in and on subway trains. It's called bombing. Soon, most of my friends started to paint as well. Some of them wanted to be like Scene. He was one of the best writers in the movie. Nobody really knew his real name, but he was famous. Everybody liked how he spoke about his graffiti. All right, let me explain. Yellow, orange, and a little bit of red. No, yellow and orange around the whole thing, and then we'll put browns and beiges in the 3D. Believe me. He's later, you know, he's what a has-been. Uh, I'm what they call a has-been, and he's a wannabe. A wannabe. <laughs> And like the writers from Style Wars used to gather on 149th Street Station at what they called Writer's Bench, we did the same. We had our own Writer's Bench. Style Wars opened our eyes to graffiti. We wanted to capture the moment like the makers of Style Wars did. Whatever the others painted, we filmed it. When our friends went to paint their first train, they ended up completely covered with color. But soon they started to use spray cans and got better and better. Since we didn't have any subway cars in Maribor, we did the best of what we had. Slowly, we turned Maribor into our own New York City. From time to time it was difficult to get spray cans. So our friends invented new ways of graffiti. And of course we never forgot to quote the old movie Style Wars. No, 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 Mick, what you're doing? Don't put me no browns in 3D. You have to put red, yellow and orange so the piece stands yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a husband. Yeah, I'm husband, but he's wannabe. Every part of our lives was dedicated to graffiti. We even celebrated marriages in front of specially prepared trains.
Yeah, you can read the names there. We just came here for one week and just fell in love and decided to get married. It was great, but unfortunately, some people didn't like the creativity we had in our lives. Most of our friends got caught while painting and were taken to jail. The bastard, three months in jail, man. They just don't know what they're doing no more. Three months. I was putting my name up to the ceiling with a ladder, just not to forget who I am and what I stand for. All trains got cleaned and life in Maribor became boring. I, for myself, was mad and sad at the same time, because there was nothing interesting to film in Slovenia anymore. The only painted train we saw was on the internet, a full-color subway car in New York. It said Style Wars 2 on it. A Style Wars. Style Wars. We didn't know who painted it or what it was all about, yeah. but that made us want to go there and find out more. We needed money for the plane tickets, so we just went to a bar and took it. And soon enough, we were on our way to New York. We wanted to bring our own writer's bench with us. We thought that would be the best way to meet graffiti writers. But unfortunately, it was too heavy and we had to leave it in Maribor. Welcome to the flight to New York. We're going there 